Good morning, first graders. Today I'm going to be reviewing with you the oi sound, the aw sound, and the ow sound. So we've got three sounds today, but those sounds have different spelling patterns, right? So we're going to practice those. We'll do some blending with our words and our sentences, and then I'll show you what practice page we're going to be working on today. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller. All right. Okay, here we go with our oi, oi, oi sound. Oi, coil. Boing, 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 boing. Roy the coil is a bouncing toy, and this is the sound of his bounce. Oi, 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 oi. oi. Doing, doing, doing. Roy the coil just dances for joy. This is the sound of his dance. Oi, 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 oi. Kaboing, kaboing. Roy the coil springs a very boy. What springing sound does he make? Oi, 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 oi. I remember during the school year, you guys used to love that one. So I hope you enjoyed it. See what I did there? It has the oi sound, right? <laughs> um, so if you want to pause this video for a second to talk to your kiddo about what oi sounds they heard. Coil, joy, boing, that um, those that sound that, that it makes, that boing sound. Um, you could do that. Um, if not, let's move on to our next one. We have our aw sound. And as you can see, that also has two different ways that it can be spelled with an A-W and an A-U consonant. All right, let me move myself actually over here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Aw, hawk. Hazel the hawk never cooks her food. Instead, she eats it raw. And when she thinks of dinner time, she calls. Oh, 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 oh. Hazel the hawk likes rabbits and mice and catches them with her claws. In August, she flies high above the fields and spies them below in the straw. Sometimes she even snatches a snake. And when she's caught one, she calls. Oh, 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 oh. If you are a hawk thinking of dinner time, what do you think you'd say? Oh, 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 oh. So again, if you want to pause this video and talk about what sounds you heard that, or what words you heard that make that sound, ah, like the word August or caught or hawk, right? All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, again, we have the we have an ow sound that has two different spelling patterns, the O-W and the O-U consonant. All right. I'm trying to move myself so I'm not in the middle of the video. All right. Here we go. Ow. Cow. Wow. Can you see poor Brownie the cow? She got stung by a bee and look at her now. She jumps up and down with an ow, 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 oh, ow. ow. Poor Brownie found that a big buzzing sound meant bees all around. In the air, on the ground, just one little bee gave Brownie a sting. Now you can hear poor Brownie sing. Ow, 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 ow. Now if you were a cow and a bee found you, you'd probably jump and shout out too. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Yeah, poor Brownie, right? <laughs> so um, again, last one, pause this video, talk about what sounds you heard that make this ow, ow sound. Um, cow, brown, right? All right, so now we're gonna move on to blending. All right, I make, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger so we can see that. I don't wanna lose me, right? <laughs> All right, let me do that. All right, perfect. All right, so um, remember how I do blending. Uh, I'm gonna do the first 
three with you. Um, actually, I might do the first four because um, of the different spelling patterns and sounds that, um, that are used. So I'll do the first four blending sentences with you. Sorry, I will do the first four lines with you blending and the last two I will read to you. All right, and see if your kiddo can um, blend them. All right, all right, line one, sound of a P, P, sound of a short, oh, sorry, let me start over. Sound of a P, P, sound of the ow, cow card, ow, blend, pow, E-R, er, what's the word? Power. All right, sound of a P, P, sound of the cow card, ow, blend, pow, E-R, er, blend, power, and then we have our um, suffix at the end. So let's see if we can sound that out. Remember, power in your brain, okay? Sound of an F, f sound of a short U, uh, blend, f, sound of an L, l. What's that last suffix called? What is it, or what is it, what's the sound? Full, so let's put that together. Powerful, powerful, right? All right, sound of an S, s sound of the cow card, ow, blend, sow, sound of an N, n, blend, sound, sound of a D, d, what's the word? Sound. All right, sound of an, oh, sorry, it's not working. Sound of a schwa, oh, there we go, sorry. Sound of a schwa, uh, sound of an R, r, blend, r, sound of a cow card, ow, blend, row. sound of an N, n, blend, around, sound of a D, d, what's the word? around very good all right let's see if we can read all four of these in line one ready let's read power powerful sound around good i'm sure oh, actually i'm sure you did good no doubt in my mind right <laughs> line two sound of a j j sound of the the coil card oi blend joy Sound of a J. Mm -mm. Trying to get it, but it doesn't seem to want to cooperate. There we go. Sound of a J. J. Sound of the coil card. Oi. Blend. Joy. Remember that in your brain. I see another suffix. Sound of an F. F. Sound of a short U. Uh. Blend. F. Sound of an L. L. What's the word? Or oh, sorry, what's that suffix? Full. So let's put it together with our base word. Joyful. Joyful. Good. All right. Sound of a V. V. Sound of that coil card. Oi. Blend. Voy. Sound of a soft C. So does that C E makes the sound, right? So what's the word? Voice. Good. All right. Sound of a J, J, sound of the coil card, oi, blend, joy, sound of an N, N, blend, join, sound of a past tense, D, so what's the word? Joined. Very good. All right, let's see if we can read it. Joy, joyful, voice, joined. Good. All right, line three, sound of a Y, Y, sound of the hawk card, aw, blend, yaw, sound of an N, N, what's the word? Yawn, right? <laughs> At this time, I'm sure we would say, everyone yawn for me, oh, right? <laughs> sound of an H, let's see if I can get it, sound of an H, <sighs> sound of the hawk card, Aw, blend, ha, sound of a K, k. What's the word? Hawk. And a hawk is a type of animal that we saw, that we saw, aw, in, um, in our spelling pattern um, video with 
the ah sound. Sound of a Z, k, sound of the hot card, ah, blend, ka, and then remember that G-H-T just makes a t sound. Actually, Miss Chabelle messed up. Did anyone catch me? Whenever you have an A, oh, sorry. Whenever you have an A-U-G-H, that also makes the ah sound. So if anyone caught me, oh, I would so give you a double thumbs up. That's awesome, okay? So let's start over. Sound of a C, k, sound of an A-U-G-H, ah, blend, ka, sound of a T, t, what's the word? Caught. All right, sound of an ha card, A, W, ah, sound of the T, H, th, blend, off, and then this is actually kind of silly. It makes the er sound. So what's the word? Author. And an author is someone who writes a book, right? All right, last line I'm going to blend with you, and then lines five and six, we will, um, you can, you can have your kiddos blend them, and I will read them to you. C, L. Cool, O W cow card, ow, blend, clap, <laughs> clow, sound of an N, n, blend, clown, make it plural, s, what's the word? Clowns. All right, sound of an L, sound of an L, l, sound of the cow card, ow, blend, Lao, sound of a D, D. What's the word? Loud. <laughs> Very good. Sound of an S, S, sound of the hawk card, Aw, blend, saw, sound of a soft C, S, blend. What's the word? Sauce. All right, last one, line four. Sound of, oh my goodness, sound of a CH, CH. Sound of the cow card, ow, blend, chow. Sound of a D, d, blend, chowed. Sound of an E-R, er. What's the word? Chowder. And that's a type of food. Um, I realized I did not read lines three or line three with you, so I'll do line three and then I'll read line four. Oh my gosh, it keeps moving on me. Yawn, hawk. Caught, author. And line four, clowns, loud, sauce, chowder. All right. Now for lines five and six, like I said, I'll just read these to you, but see if your kiddos can blend them. Lawn, hawk card. Sunflower, cow card. Counter, cow card. Fault, hawk card. All right, and line six. Choice, coil card. Drawn, hawk card. Enjoying, coil card. And launch, hawk card. All right. So there's something special about the second word in line five. Sunflower. Sun, flower. Well, those are two separate words. When you put them together, they make a new word. Sun, flower, sunflower. Do we remember what those are called? Compound words, right? Well, that's what that is. Sun, flower, sunflower, a compound word. Um, also, these two words are the second word in line one and the second word in line two, powerful and joyful. So notice that they both have the same suffix, full. Well, when you're full of something, it means you have a lot of it, right? So when you're um, like, kind of like when you're tummy full, when, when, you have a, when you have a food in your stomach and you feel full, so it means you have a lot. So powerful and joyful mean that you have a lot of something. You have a lot of power or you have a lot of joy, right? So that's what that suffix means um, in this last part, full. And then you see it again, full, right? All right, now let's move on to our sentences. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. 
All right. I'm just going to remind you that remember the underlined words are what kind of words? Sight words, right? So those are ones that we should already know in first grade, that those are the words that we see in, um, in stories and in a lot of different writing. So those are the ones that we should already know how to sound out and read, all right? The other ones we will blend together and then we'll start from the beginning to work on our fluency. All right, line one, the CL cool cow card ow blend clow sound of an N n blend clown make it plural s what's that word clowns very good all right let's start over the clowns sound of a G g sound of a long A a blend Gay, sound of a V, V, what's the word? Gave, and there's a silent E there, which makes that vowel long, right? And then we have a sight word here, A, all right, let's start over. The clowns gave A, sound of a T, T, sound of that coil card, OI, blend, toy, got a sight word. Two, let's start over. The clowns gave a toy to long E, E, sound of a CH, CH, blend each. All right, let's start over. The, oh my goodness, clowns gave a toy to each, sound of a CH, Sound of a long I. I blend chai. Sound of an L. L blend child. Sound of a D. D. What's the word? Child. Very good. And then, oops, my goodness. In the. All right, let's start over. The clowns gave a toy to each child in the, this is a big word, so let's sound it out together, right? I wanna make sure I can hear you all the way from your house, okay? Sound of a hawk card. Oh my goodness, sound of a hawk card. I don't know why it's doing the whole thing, but we're just working on that bottom word, okay? Sound of the hawk card, aw, sound of a D, D, blend, odd, and then long E, E, blend, Audi, and then short. Ms. Chabelle did that wrong. All right, can we go back? Is that okay? You know sometimes Ms. Chabelle forgets some things, right? All right, sound of the hot card. Aw, sound of the D, D, blend, odd. And then it's a long E, E, and then blend, Audi, and then it's a short E, eh, blend, Audi, eh. And then an N, N, blend, audien, and then a soft C, S, blend. What's that word? Audience. That one was a hard one, even for Miss Bell, but I'm sure you guys did great. Really good job. All right, let's see if we can read this whole sentence. The clowns gave a toy to each child in the audience. Good job. All right, line two. The sound of a B, B, sound of the coil card, oi, blend, boy. All right. The boy, sound of an N, N, sound of a short E, eh, blend, ne, sound of an X, X, blend, next, sound of a T, Blend next. All right, let's. Oh my goodness, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, let's read it again. The boy next, sound of a D, D, sound of that um, stork card, or blend door, and then sight words, has an. All right, let's start over. The boy next door has an 
sound of a hot card, ah, uh, sound of a, there we go, sound of, um, sound of an S, s, blend, os, sound of a schwa, a, uh, blend, asa, sound of an M, m, blend, what's the word, awesome, all right, let's start over, the boy next door has an awesome sound of a V, v sound of a, that coil card, oi, blend, voy, sound of a C E, what's the word? Voice. All right, let's go ahead and reread it. The boy next door has an awesome voice. All right. Very good. I know some of those words were a little bit tricky even for me, but I'm sure, like I said, you guys did a very well done job, right? <laughs> All right. Today we are going, oh, you couldn't see me for a second. All right. So today we are going to be going to page 269 and 270 in our skills practice books, okay? So the first thing you do is write your name and date, right? And then the date today is 5 dash. Oh, Miss Sherbell. It is no longer May. It's actually the first or the second day of June. Um, so today is 6 dash 2 dash 20. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to look at these words and you're going to say to yourself, hmm, which words have the ow sound? or the oi sound. Now remember that the ow sound and the oi sound have two different spelling patterns. The oi and the consonant oi for that oi, oi, oi sound. And the ow and the ow consonant for the ow, ow, ow sound. So you have to make sure that you're actually listening to the sounds, right? Not just looking for those same letters. All right, so um, the so the ones on the left are gonna have the ow sound, and the ones on the right are gonna have that oi sound, like that coil. All right, and on page two hundred seventy, we always read our directions, right? Because that teaches us um, also for fluency, but also tells us what we're supposed to do, right? Apply, proofread each sentence, and circle the word that is spelled incorrectly then rewrite it correctly on the line. So we'll do number 13 together. I enjoy the sound of the trumpet. Well, if you go back to page 269, which word that is here is spelled wrong in line 13? Well, I know that trumpet's not gonna be there and enjoy isn't on that list either, but I see the word sound. So sound is spelled S-O-U-N-D. Is that the way sound is spelled here? No, that means we have to fix it. So you're gonna circle the word and then you're gonna rewrite it on the line to the right. All right, so make sure that, that those words are spelled correctly because then your kiddos will learn how to spell those words correctly in the future, right? All right, and then on the bottom, looks like it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. All right. Write the spelling word or words that rhyme with each word. Oh, my goodness. I remember my kids used to love rhyming, so this might be a fun activity for you. Um, so we have the word pound. So go back to page 269 and see which words rhyme with pound. Then you go to the word toil. See what words rhyme with toil, right? So the word list on page 269 will help you solve a lot um, of these um, rhyming questions and spelling questions, okay? All right, guys, I miss you and hopefully you enjoyed blending with me today because you know how much I love it, okay? Bye.